All right, today we're doing the Discord Gauntlet. You might be wondering why I'm not doing the Universe Gauntlet, and that's because um, I don't, I'm not sure I have time because I know that Gauntlet's quite this is like one, the hardest new Gauntlet, and some of the levels look like they could be a bit tedious, and I might not want to do it in one day. And if I don't do it in one day, I won't have time to beat that Gauntlet by the time this video needs to come out. So I'm doing this one because this level, this this Gauntlet's like very easy. Um. Yeah, so this was this gauntlet. I'll probably do the universe gauntlet next video. Um, yeah, this gauntlet and and the split gauntlet also made Discord contest get Discord gauntlet contest where basically you have to have two different, two completely different levels basically in the same level. Where they're completely different. Well, not necessarily completely different. It could just be completely different deco, but it could be like this level where it is two completely different levels in one level. Unfortunately, that does mean a lot of levels you need to beat twice to get all the coins. Like this one you need to beat twice to get all the coins, which I don't like. Don't do that in levels. I don't like it when levels do that. You should be able to beat the, get all the coins in one sitting. You go go down here to get this coin. Yeah, you should be able to get the coin, all the coins in one completion of the level. You should not have to beat it twice. I don't like levels doing that. But whatever. This level's cool. Like, all the levels in this gauntlet are cool, obviously. I mean, obviously all the new gauntlet levels are, like, well made. I mean, the differing levels of sight readability aside, they're all visually impressive levels because they're all made for, specifically for contests, so they're going to be the best of the best. Like, this level, uh, like, it's starting off is very good. Like, look at it. And the way it does the alternate path is also very... I don't think you need to click there, but I am. It's also... The way it does the alternate path is very good. It's actually a separate level, which is nice. It's it's not just a reskin. So anyway, that's one completion. Hey, quest complete. Let's go. That is one completion. Now, if I want to get the second coin, I have to fall down here. And this is the second path, and this is where we'll get the, the second coin. This path, I think, is a bit harder. I don't know, it, it just is. I think it's a bit less readable because of these spikes, they blend in a bit more with the ground. And I think just the base gameplay is just a bit slightly harder overall, which is fine. Like it's this level, the first path is a three star. Like it's not, it's still not hard. It's just harder, but like it's, it's, it's still not hard. Now, there was somewhere I'd, up in here I did actually die in practice because I didn't read that there was a spike somewhere. So I'd like to not die here because that would be in that spike I didn't read. I'd like to not die again because that would not be very convenient, you know? Because then I'd have to die and restart and that would be annoying. But yeah, as you can see, this is completely different gameplay. And it's, also, it's still, like, good visually and stuff. Well, I like the stuff, it's good. Uh, I'm not just also saying that because I do I am able to do it quite quickly even though it is a kind of long level and I do have to beat it twice because of the coins but beating a three star twice is fine it's like not hard so th I th this effect does throw me off a bit still and I hopefully won't panic and die as a result of that that would be not very pleasant I am panicking a bit like my, as you've seen multiple times, my reading level ability is not the, the my ability to read levels is not the best. But I think we're fine now because yeah, with this ship, as long as I don't somehow miss the coin, it's GG. Because I don't think it's physically possible to die, and I I, I really hope I don't <laughs> regret saying that. But I think we're fine. Just have to get the coin, get the coin, good. And yeah, there we go. That is afterlife done. That that is a good good level. Cool. It took a while, because, you know, I had to beat it twice. And there's the other coin. I like that. That is good. Now on to Snow Flies in Fog. This level, also very easy. Like, this this whole gauntlet is pretty easy. Um, it's very long, though, this level. Like, it takes a while. I am worried about missing the coin slightly. I don't know the exact hitbox for it, because obviously I can't check hitboxes anymore. Um, but I think it should be fine. We'll be fine, right? I won't be stupid and miss the coin and have to restart. No, I missed it! You get the coin in the chandelier, but I missed it, I think. So, you know, fantastic. Okay, I just checked in... I made a copyable and checked how you get the coin. You need to... I just jumped too early. That's really annoying that you can do that, honestly. Like, it, I, I know how to get the coin. This is a four-star. The coin shouldn't be a pain to get. But anyway, you know, whatever. 
It's fine, because now I know how to get the coin, I just need to jump later, we're gonna get the coin. Because obviously I also can't do collect coins in practice, because that's not in Mega Hack yet. So I couldn't check whether that was, you know, whether I was getting the coin or not. Like, these features, I, they're very helpful, and I like them. <laughs> you know, I like these features, and I am, uh, it's annoying that they are not here. I, I, that is such an abrupt jump. I, I know you don't need to jump, but it's fine. Anyway, this level, I like it. I just, I do wish this level wasn't quite as long, because it's very long. Like, it takes a while for me to get anywhere, especially now that I had to restart because I missed the coin. Which is very inconvenient. Hopefully I won't miss it this time. You know, I'd like to not miss the coin, please. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Do not miss the coin this time. Do not miss the coin. Do not miss the coin. Jump late. Yes, got the coin. There we go. Okay, now I did not die to this staircase. I, I did die to jumping out of the building, to that jump, because I thought the staircase was going to rotate again, but we're fine. I'm not sure if it, you can die to those bottom things, and I'm not going to try it out, because, you know, I don't feel particularly like dying right now, you know? We should be fine. Okay, I don't know if you have to go down there to get the speed change, but I am. Is this the... Nope. Don't, don't, don't drop. I don't know what can kill you, what I don't know if you can go through that log, for example, or if you die. And I don't want to try. Because we're decently far into the level, and getting back here would be very time-consuming. And I don't feel like consuming time unnecessarily, you know? But this level, I'm not... I haven't seen the, the night version of it, but I'm sure it's good. I'm sure it looks good. Get hit by a train, you know? Just everyday occurrence, you know? Just get hit by a train, why not? I like getting hit by trains, you know? Provide, strengthens the, <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> what am I saying, bro? Anyway, now I think we're on top of the train. Let's not get hit by the, the saw blades that are randomly on top of the train. And yes, this snowmobile part, I need to, there's one click you need to do here. I need to remember that, that. I don't know if you die if you don't click that, but as I say, I don't want to find out. I don't particularly feel like messing around and seeing if we, if we die. Because, like, that would be a waste of time. Because, look, we beat the level. Just keep holding the dash orb, and we're done. GG. That is a very cool level. Long, but it's good. Good level. And done. Give, give, me, the, give me this coin. Oh, I like how the end screen's just the flower there. That's kind of nice. Give me that coin. Give me those rewards. I like the level. That was good. Now on to growing insane. This level's weirdish. It's got, like, it's got a few strange parts, and you, I think you have to get go this way, because that's how you change the, between the two modes of this level. I think you have to go this way to get the, the coin. Like, I tried to go the other way and get the coin. Like, you can see the coin, but I have no idea how you get to it in the other path, so I'm not going that path. I'm going this path, because you can get both coins this path, but the other path, it looks like you can only get one coin. Just jump. Did, where was my where where was my click? Did I hit the did I buffer too early and hit the wrong orb? I probably did that. That's kind of dumb. I don't. I'm not a particularly big. I went the wrong way. I'm not a particularly big fan that I died like that just then because like I shouldn't be. It's not particularly hard this level. I know the ending's kind of weird. The ending has is very weird hitboxes. I'm just like just some of the things are just strange, and I'm looking forward to dying there. Because I, I am not going to be surprised if I die to this ending. Because the ending, as I say, is just strange. It's got some strange things. Now, don't be stupid this time, please. Go jump. Hit that. Jump. One, two. And then you don't buffer. Then you click the orb. And now we can't get to the slowdown. Coming up to the second coin. Hopefully we don't die. Didn't die to it. Like, you can die to those lighter coloured objects. And I didn't particularly feel like doing that. So... I'm glad we didn't. Now, this cog is not a yellow orb. I thought it was a yellow orb when I was, went through practice initially, but it is not a yellow orb. Now, this part is strange. Like, jumping off the, the whale is very strange. This UFO has some awkward things, but we're fine, I think. Yep, jump. Don't be stupid, please. I'd like to not be stupid. Please don't be stupid. Jump, jump. One, two, three, four, jump. Thank you. Nice. That's a nice level. I do like it. 
And it, it's good. I'm, we're getting quests. I like getting quests. Getting keys. I also like getting keys. And diamonds, because you know we need diamonds for the shop. That's a good level. Now, on two, double dimension. Again, this level requires a double rebeat, so or a double completion, one one for each path. So that's fun. This level's very cool though. Like this level's sick. It's got this really cool 3D effect. I like it. Like it looks 3D now, but like it goes complete well not completely 3D obviously, because it's still a side scrolling game at the end of the day, but like goes pretty much 3D later on. Well, there's 3Ds you can get in GD while still being a normal level. You'll see. Jump over these. Jump over these. It's very weird reading this because you just don't know. The hitbox going through Geometrical Dominator now. Fun. We jump. Don't die, please. Like, look, at look, this is completely 3D. This is so cool. Oh, as I said, it's about as 3Ds you're going to get in GD. It's cool. And finger dash now. Let's not die to finger dash. Dash orb. Jump. Like, I really do not know the hitboxes for these. And it's strange. Now, don't be stupid, please. Two, three. Hit that. Don't hit the death blocks. We hit all these blocks, we get a coin, I believe. Yeah, look, there's coin one. We, one, two, three. And that's coin two. So that's two of the coins. Got another quest complete. I love completing all these quests, man. I'm completing so many quests. This is fantastic. And now we need to rebeat the level by not going into the other dimension, and we'll be fine. So we don't hit that block. We jump over this. We go one, two. We go through here. Now I think this this part's a bit easier to sight read, in my opinion, which is nice because I like easy to sight read. Although the coin is harder to sight read. I'm not sure, and again, I'm not sure the exact hitboxes for the coin, but it will be fine, right? I managed to get in, in practice, I think. Hopefully I'll manage to get it in, in this. I I don't know if I could, if I was close to dying there, but it looked like I was close to dying there, and I, I don't feel like dying. You got that, trolled me in practice, trolled me there. But we're fine, because it doesn't matter if you click. And now we get to the 3D part again. Like, it's a completely other 3D part. I'm not sure if the gameplay is the same, I don't think it is, but like, it's cool. Cool, like this 3D effect is really well made. You know, because this is different gameplay as well. Now, here we need to straight fly, we need to get this coin, nice, got the coin. Should be GG now, because I shouldn't die. Like, there's no reason to, don't be stupid please mate. We'll through the pipe, and here's this ending section. Shall we get the what, the other coin again? Might as well. One, two. Why did I say one, two? There's only one click there. And that's the last coin, and that's double dimension done. That level is really cool. Probably my favorite so far, because, like, the 3D effect's sick. Now, onto the last level of today, which is Radiant Glen. This level has bad coins. These levels, this level's coins are straight up bad. Like, they are just actually hard. Like, especially, don't be stupid. Especially the first coin. Like, th that, the flying for the first coin is actually not, it, it, I could actually die to, I won't, won't be surprised. And the second one's got like, very sudden reactive timing, which I don't like. I don't know ex exactly if you need to activate that to get the second coin, but the video I saw did, and I didn't find the second, I mean, I also just didn't know that was the way to get the second coin. Like, the second coin is marked very poorly, in my opinion. So I don't know if you have to do this to get the second coin, but that's how I learned getting the second coin, so that's how I'm getting the second coin. And because I don't want to waste my time doing another way, because this level's very long. It's like two minutes. Kind of long. Which is fun. And the last coin's right at the- well, both the coins are in the second half of the level. So hopefully I don't die getting them, because that would be inconvenient. You know? Like, I think the first- the first coin's at like 60 something. And that's decently far in, as you can tell by the fact we're like, what, a minute in? I can't look at the recording time, I need to actually focus on the level, but, you know. Uh, we're approaching it now. Jump, one, two, three. Jump, full, one, two, three, click that. Right, yeah, now this ship is where we get the first coin. We need to avoid this block, which is hard enough, and then this flying here, actually kind of tight. Like, swinging over that spike is kind of hard. Well, we did it. Hopefully I don't die getting the last coin, because that would be an inconvenience. It is very... The contrast between the background and these platforms isn't the best. Well, it wasn't the best, so it's better now. Uh, don't die, please. Please don't die. That would be very annoying. 
to come up here. Can I sight read? Please, can I sight read? Jump, don't click that. One, two, three, hit that. Jump, hit that late, and we're good. I'm glad I managed to sight read. Thank you. I don't like those coins, they're... I would not have been surprised if I died to them multiple times, but I didn't! So it's all good, you know? All good. Get these coins. There we go. Get the rewards. Get another key. Very nice. I do like that level in the end, probably because I beat it quickly. But yeah, there we go. That is Radiant Glen, and thus this gauntlet done. Let's get the reward. What's the reward going to be? You know, the, the, the evil distant, another key, I like keys, some shards, diamonds, all nice rewards. And with that done, I'm going to say thank you all for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.